Ian, how do estate agents increase market share in a tough market? Talk to me. Right. Um, so, uh, it is a tough market, um, but really it's no tough. tougher, I think, than other markets that we've experienced in the UK. I mean, how long have you been in a state agency now? Uh, 33rd year. Okay, so you must have started when you were on your paper round. I, I, actually, <laughs> not far off. 17. So, you've been through some tough markets. Yeah, I have, yeah. 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 Okay. So, do you think, what, what, what could agents learn from, from the previous tougher markets that they could apply today? The, there is no doubt that the world is different. And so anybody that harps on to the way that it was isn't being realistic because there are so many different um, communication methods and expectations. Um, I think that technology may be sending it off in a slightly different direction, which might not necessarily be completely uh, correct. Um, and so linking it back to the first question, which is um, the market share, you, you, we need to be aware of how to communicate with people. And the, and the best way because market share isn't there's no silver bullet so I think it was Henry T Ford once said 50% of my marketing worked but I'm not sure which 50% and that's the same with all methods of communication it's how you talk and interact and um, and the contact points that you have with a person all the way through the journey I mean you're part you're the CEO of the guild which is a group of 800 estate agents yeah you must see some good and not so good not mentioning any names what tips and techniques have you seen that you think, actually, that's good and it's worked? Not giving too much away, but yeah, yeah. give something. Some... Um, uh, planning is important, I think, for market. So understanding your marketplace, planning, identifying three or four key areas within your conurbation that you know that if you get one instruction, you're going to get another. Um, understanding where the investors live if it, from a lettings portfolio, so you know where to market information about the marketplace and and um, financial situation in the country. That's also important. So planning is really important. You need some stable diets um, in terms of these are the things that we do. So rhythms and routines that go out. Uh, and then obviously um, in building on your successes as well. Do you think estate agents plan enough? No. Why do you think that is? is they're very hand to mouth? I think by very nature, uh, estate agents, so we were talked about profiling earlier on, didn't we? We did. Uh, if you were to profile in a salesperson, Planning and structure would not be high up in no. their in their skill set. Um, that doesn't mean to say that that's the right thing, though. You talked about this rhythm. Is that the rhythm of marketing? Um, I'm just... a great believer. So, so in my 33 years, I've been an independent for 17 years and a corporate for the remainder. So, I hopefully I've picked out the best of both worlds. Um, and I'm a great advocate of rhythms and routines because if you've got a team of people, particularly as you grow as a business. If you've got a team of people and they know exactly what they're trying to do and what the objectives are and they stick to a routine, I think it works really well. What do you mean by a rhythm? Is that just the, the whole people within the office just working together or the marketing? Uh, a rhythm, just... rhythm is the tempo. So, so I, again, um, I've been an advocate of do it now. So don't, don't delay and do something tomorrow when you can do it, do, it, do it today. So the rhythm is the tempo and the feel and the energy uh, and the routine is the process. Have you anything? Is there any quick actionable points out there that you could give to someone, or is it just really a case of plan, do, and review, and just grind it out? Um, so uh, training hugely important. So um, uh, as any business owner that's out there, hold a second. I thought you'd be saying something like spend loads of money on Facebook advertising or campaigns and things like that, and marketing and touting and door knocking. <laughs> it's really interesting. So um, one of the things that the corporate taught me was the first automatic default should be what's free. What can I do in my business that's going to affect performance that isn't going to cost me any money? Because why would I go and spend money until yep. I've done all the things that are free? So, so that the automatic default would be free. So, Because you're a pretty big director at Countrywide, weren't you? Yeah, I was, yeah. And we'll talk about that in greater detail in another video. Yeah. Some fantastic insights, boys and girls. Um, what did you... Expand a bit more on this free thing. So, so the principle was uh, four principles for building market share for residential estate agency, us. So what does our office look like? Is it tidy? Does it look like we're successful? Does it look like we want business? Are there wanteds in the front window that might just pick on that passerby? Okay. Might get one response in a year. If that's worth two grand, then that's a good return of investment. 
Um, so us, uh, how do we deal with our customers at every single pinch point? Is the conversation appropriate? And are we uh, adapting our skill set to the needs of the individual at that particular time? Okay. Um, there was uh, canvassing, so we so a great advocate of canvassing. Some people don't like it, and that's right because uh, if that's right for their brand, that's okay because that's their brand profile. But personally, I was an advocate of prospecting and canvassing. Um, then there was the market appraisal or valuation. How well was it booked, um, and how well was it followed up? I was it beggars belief how lack of, a lack of follow up from the opportunity that you've created in the first place. You're not the first person to say that. I just don't understand it. So there's no crime or no sin in losing an instruction. Never. I always say that you delay getting it. You don't ever lose it. You just delay getting it. Um, but there is a, a cardinal sin in not following up. Do you think estate agents are good at that generally, or pretty bad, or good at not following up? <laughs> yeah, they're good. Um, I, I think that uh, the good agents will be good at following up and the poor, and the poor agents probably wouldn't. Why do you think estate agents are not very good at following up lost valuations? Uh, because it's a personal industry and they see it as a personal slur against their personality if they don't win it. Exactly. That's why a value is the, the hurt of losing a valuation. Absolutely. Have you got any top tips on um, techniques to follow lost valuations? Uh, yes, but I'll keep those for the Guild members. <laughs> <You're done. laughs> Thank you, mate. Cheers.